And he's being paid $28 million over four years to protect Aaron Rodgers. But off the field, Billy Turner has a lighter side, more fashionable side. Rod Burks is here with that story. That is right, guys. Packers right guard Billy Turner has a lot of interest outside the game of football, which is always nice to hear. And the one interest that he loves talking about is fashion. And that's why we hit it off in the locker room. Big fella. What's going on, man? Good to see you. Good, man. How you doing? All right. With his rescue dog, Buddha by his side, we settled in with Packers' big acquisition, right tackle Billy Turner at his Green Bay home. What did your, your passion for fashion uh, come from? Growing up, you know, uh, my mom, my dad, my brothers, my aunt, um, everyone has their own unique style. While playing football at North Dakota State, Turner got inspired by an NFL quarterback who took fashion to a whole new level. Cam Newton has is in a, a class all to himself when it comes to fashion. That sparked a fashion forward approach within him to start doing his own thing. I picked out like 300 yards of denim. Right. And I just bought it. That, that was really the first piece of clothing that I actually had designed. His ideas grew from there. When I sat down and just started figuring it out, painting right. on denim for the first time, this was what I started painting on. Really? So that was your first one? Yeah, I just kind of put the peace on, I put the heart, I put the cross. That's good hot. vibes only. That's the chest. That's the one right there. At the center of his fashion kingdom is his creative toolbox where the ideals flow. That's the drawer I keep all my, my supplies in that I do uh, some of the artwork with fabric pens. I got some paint, some leather paint. He creates pieces like this jacket, like he did for his mom. <laughs> I made that one for my mom's. Oh, that's cool. I wore this one a couple weeks ago. Ooh. Who were the first teammates that started coming up to you saying, hey man, you got a little different vibe, man. I'm kind of liking what you're kicking. Dave Bakhtiari came up to me and he was like, yo, you know, the last couple of years I, you know, for all the away games, I kind of do, you know, a little, a theme or whatever. It was him, it was 12, and it was um, Mike Daniels. What did 12 say? I mean, you know, he's a guy, you know, he can, he can pretty much afford anything. It was the positivity that he noticed within the clothing and within you know, my social media and within the energy that I brought to the locker room, that's kind of where, you know, his interest was sparked. Billy recently gifted the team and coaching staff with custom made jackets. Aaron Rodgers rocked his during a news press conference in Detroit. Yeah, it definitely is more special. Billy included a little something special for the youngest fans on the threads. The artwork on the back was designed by, you know, first, second, third graders. Peace, love, inclusion, equality. Right. I said, whatever those words mean to these kids, I want them to put it on this denim. On the front of the jacket, a word you will see over and over in Billy's wardrobe. I, I honestly don't know where the word, um, where, how it popped into my life, into my mind, but right. what that word has done for me and my life and the vibe that I bring and the vibe that I want to bring forth for other people around my life has honestly changed my life. We saw some of the vibe of Billy showed off in his closet. These are all made fit to me. Custom pants. I bought them and then the X's and O's, I just took a Sharpie one day and just went all the way up and down the seam. My favorite part of my wardrobe, like I said earlier, are my glasses. Shells filled with frames. A little different, you know what I mean? And the shoes, so many shoes. They sell these in Green Bay? <laughs> they sell us in Green Bay. Do they sell? They don't sell Gucci in Green Bay, do they? Nah, but they ship the Green Bay. I know. <laughs> and when it comes to shirts, there are plenty to choose from. I'm trying to figure out which one Rod Burks would wear. Definitely not gonna fit. <laughs> it's for sure hey, gonna bro, be. You think I'm that skinny? I work out. It's gonna be too big. I, wait, but... wait, 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 wait. I work out. I mean, I'm not as big as you. So you act like I was swimming, and it's it's actually kind of tight in the back, big boy. <laughs> All jokes aside, Billy says. He has one mission and one mission only. Very simply put right there, smile. He's got a lot of clothes and for every design a kid makes, Billy says he will donate five jackets to the Salvation Army. Wow. Hmm. You know what, I like him. He has this like Basquiat kind of vibe, but it's not just about fashion. He's got, his family has a yeah. history with football. Yeah, his brother played in the league and his dad was drafted by the Minnesota Vikings mm. and played for the Green Bay Packers in 1985. So a lot of fashion going on. Those boxes of shoes stacked up against the wall. Hey, but you guys were talking about his hangers too, right? You gotta get some wooden you gotta hangers. Gotta get better than plastic well, I was gonna, I was gonna, <laughs> I, I was gonna add them on TV, but I was kind of shocked that he, he had did, plastic I did, I did, I did. <laughs>
Hey, and on our website right now, you'll be able to find more on this story. I asked Billy a few extra questions, including who is the best and worst uh -oh. dressed in the Packers locker room. You have to check it out, folks. TMJ4.com and click on the story.